Alright, 11.2, the arithmetic sequences and series examples. Um, the first thing basically says find the common difference. The common difference is pretty simple. Um, that's your D. Okay, so find D is what it's saying. So what is it going up or down by every single time? So basically all you need to do is take two-thirds and minus one-half. Take five-sixths and minus two-thirds. And whatever you get, if it happens to be the same thing, so for this one I end up getting 0.16 repeated and 5 6 minus 2 thirds is the same so it's actually going down by um, 1 sixth every time okay and it's the same thing down there so I'm not going to keep redoing um, the same problem over and over again this one remember the formula is a n um, a sub 1 plus m minus n d well the first term is negative 4 plus n minus 1 and what's it going up by every time it's going up by 4 so I just distribute that through to get negative 4 plus 4 n minus 4 and when I combine my like terms I get 4 n minus 8 so to find the eighth term I plug an 8 in there so 4 times 8 minus 8 is 32 minus 8, which is 24. Um, with this one, same idea. a sub n equals a sub 1 plus n minus uh, 1 times d. We start with 5. We're going up by 11 every single time here. I'm going up by 11. So I distribute that through. I get 5 plus 11n minus 11, which ends up giving me 11n when I combine like terms minus 6. It's 11n minus 6, so the 8th term, I plug an 8 in there. So it's 11 times 8 minus 6, so that's like saying 88 minus 6, which is 82, is my 8th term. And let's we'll skip over that one because it's the same. Sum formula now. Find the sum of the first eight terms. Well, here's the sum formula. The sum formula for the arithmetic ones is n times a sub 1 plus a sub n over um, 2, I believe. Okay, because you're finding the average. Well, uh, find the sum of the first eight terms, meaning I need to figure out what the eighth term is. So in order to do that, I need to first do this formula to find out what the eighth term is, because I need to find the pattern. So that means this is a negative 2. It's going up by 4 every time. So I distribute to get negative 2 plus 4n minus 4. So actually, it's 4n minus 6. So to find the eighth term, I plug in an 8. So that's like saying 32 minus 6. So now I know what the 8th term is. The 8th term is 26. So what does that mean? That means a sub 1 is t negative 2. a sub n, or the 8th term, is 26. All that divided by 2. And a sub n, or we want just n, we want the sum of the first 8 terms, so that is an 8. So negative 2 plus 26 equals 24. 24 divided by 2 is 12, and 12 times 8, the sum of the first 8 terms is 96. Um, once again, to find the sum here, I need to find the pattern first, because I need to know what the first and last term is. So I know what the first term is, but I do not know what the last term is. So let's figure out what the last term is. So that's n minus 1d. The first term is an 8, n minus 1, and it's going up by 7 every time, so I distribute that through. You get 8 plus 7n minus 7. When I combine my like terms, I get 7n plus 1. So to find the 25 terms, I need to plug a 25 in there. So 7 times 25 minus 1, or sorry, 7 times 25 plus 1 you get 176. So remember that, 176. Because 176 is the 25th term. So according to our formula, I need the first term, the 25th term, which I just found, divided by 2. So 
the first term is an 8. The uh, last term I need, the 25th term, is 176. I need to divide that by 2. And n is 25 because I want the 25th term. So 8 plus 176 equals 184. Divided by 2 is 92. 92 times 25. The sum of those terms is 2300 is the sum of those terms. Um, let's see if there's a different type here of problem because I don't want to waste your time with the same thing over and over again. Um, this is just saying if this is what we have, they're telling you what the first term is is negative 7. They're also telling you what the common difference is. It's 5 over 2. So basically you can figure out the rule by just um, plugging the items in and I have a negative 7 here. So when I combine my like terms, a negative 7 plus a 5 halves, or sorry, plus a negative 5 halves uh, actually ends up giving you negative 19 over 2. So really it's 5 over 2n minus 19 over 2 is the formula. When you combine those two together, you end up getting negative 19 over 2. Um, this, once again, it's according to the formula. And here's the formula again. We know that 8 is what it started with, and we also know that the common difference is 2 thirds, so I distribute that through. So I end up getting 8 plus 2 thirds n minus 2 thirds, and 8 minus 2 thirds. Uh, ends up giving you 22 over 3. So you get 2 over 3 n uh, plus 22 over 3. And there's your pattern. Um, other than that, um, I believe those are the most important problems for you to worry about in this section. So if you have any other further questions or concerns, uh, please let me know.